In our last session, we talked about pop art and how Andy Warhol had the four sections of his drawing of a popular art culture kind of thing. I did my iPod and we talked about um, neutralized colors being those uh, mixing colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. Today, I'm going to just show you um, the, the next section where we're going to take this one down here and we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use two different colors. I'm going to use purple. Okay, and you can kind of see that on my palette over here. I have purple, and I've got some yellow. I'm going to mix in some white and do that. Now, um, with this, I'm going to follow the same kind of idea as I did with my first one. My first one, as you might remember, the center of the button there, the select button, is my pure color. Here, I'm going to make my pure color. Um, the select button and the earbuds as well and all the other parts are going to be neutralized colors okay so I'm just going to slide that up so we can see it a little better you should have your clean water cup um, a dirty or an empty water cup for your dirty water for later and a clean um, little water cup to do your cleaning out with and a paper towel to blot your brush so you've got your br brush blotting and your your thing clear so you're not not hurting for a clean clear brush so we talked about the two different kinds of brushes you've got here's my um, quarter inch I'm going to continue to use my quarter inch one um, and mix my colors with that so I'm going to choose to have purple be my pure color and I'm going to paint that right in to this circle Now I don't remember last time if I did it first or last or what you could do it first you could do it last as long as you make a nice conscious decision about where it's gonna be there's my purple and now I'm gonna start working into my neutral colors I'm gonna take my purple add some white to it to get kind of a more lavendery color so it's not so dark I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow in to get now I'm actually working backwards here I took my purple and I'm adding the yellow into it right now when you're mixing a color chart you always work weakest to strongest or strongest strong into weak so that you're not super overpowering whereas uh, you know when you're color mixing for a painting you might want to mix the other way now that you've got that skill now that you know the rule you can kind of break that rule um, depending on if that's what your intention is. I don't want to have to you know, take a bunch of yellow and, and ruin a bunch of yellow to get this color since I know I just need a little bit for it. Um, so here's my little um, menu selecting wheel. It's almost a grayish lavender color. See the way I'm like turning my brush and holding my brush. And then if we look back to this one up here, I've got the, the screen the same color. So I'm going to continue to mix some yellow into here and make that same color for my screen. Okay. So I'm kind of copying the same color um, relationships from my first little square paint painting to my second one here. I'm going to need some more purple and some more yellow and a little bit more white. Kind of keep that color consistent. And it's it's hard to remix colors the same each time. So if you're going to do a spot and you know you're going to have like a larger area, like let's say the background, where you're going to need that color to be consistent, unless you've got some really, really great color mixing skills, um, I would mix a larger section of that color and then you know make sure you've got enough to fill that in because even on mine these are pretty close but I can tell they're different my eye is good enough that I can tell that they are different I'm going to take my brush and kind of swipe it off here I'm not going to use my water yet because I'm going to stay on the on the purple side of life um, you know what actually I'm, I'm lying I'm going to change my mind I'm going to wash my brush out and I'm going to change to the yellow side of life here Okay, now remember you're only supposed to have one pure color. So I'm not going to make pure yellow. I'm going to take my yellow though. I'm going to add a bunch of white to it. I'm 
and just a teeny hint of purple. Oh, that's not even a hint. That's far too much. Okay, it's still yellow, but it's just dulled ever so slightly. And I'm going to make that my iPod color. And you can notice here how I'm kind of going over my line. If you know you're going to be able to paint over something and go back over it later, don't be sloppy on purpose, but it's better to go back over it later and clean up the lines if, if you can do that. Okay, I'm going to go back to my color. I'm going to kind of remix, even though I told you guys not to remix because um, it's hard. I'm going to remix mine here. Be a bad example. See how that's even a little bit different there? A little too purple. Let's see it. If you blend them together a little bit, you can kind of work around it. Good. Now I'm going to um, take a darker color. I'm going to go back to my purple and wash out my brush here. I'm going to make the dark shadowy color for back there. I'll wash the brush out. I need a new paper towel here. Clean it off. Use some more purple. With no white, just purple and yellow. So it's a really dark, dull color. And paint my. Now you see how I'm getting my water, my paintbrush is too watery because I didn't squeeze out the uh, ferrule right here. So I'm going to squeeze that out and try to get all that water out. I don't want watery paint. I want thick, juicy temper paint. Okay, now I'm going to uh, I'm going to go with a lighter background. And actually, if I look here, the sides of these earbuds is that same um, color. If I'm copying my other picture. Okay. Now I'm going to take pick another purple, um, make it a little bit lighter in shade here. There we go. There's my purpley background.
see how I'm painting right over my Sharpie lines? This is a good thing about Sharpie is later on I can still see that and I can go back and draw over the top of it. Now, the last little part there is the earbuds, and that should be purple, pure purple in the earbuds. Just like our other one. So we've got the pure purple here, pure purple there. We've got the kind of dull purple yellow mix. We've got the light yellow just like we've got the light green here because this one is predominantly red. This one's predominantly purple and we've got the yellow here. The secondary ish color here is by secondary. I don't mean secondary color. I mean the uh, the less dominant color and the more dominant color in the background. Okay. When you're done with that we'll go on to the next video. Wash your brush out really well clean it off, take care of all your supplies.